striking. When you watch a bird that's completely out of shape try to fly, especially one that's been injured and everything's atrophied. Um, what, for example, when I first took her out and flew her the first day, she could barely get off the ground. It was, it was a little sad, actually. How do you know she's ready to go? Uh, she's fit. She's been on the wing for a while. She's been put through a bit of a uh, sort of a physique developing program. So she's stronger now than she was when I got her uh, initially. And, uh, you know, she's not as fit as she would be if she was free living, uh, feeding herself and, and otherwise completely healthy. But considering her past, she's certainly able to feed herself now. So the last time she was on the wing, she was motoring around all over the place, chasing everything that she could. And, and a few days prior to that, before she lost interest in the drone, she was going up a few hundred feet after it into the sky. So, um, so her physicality has changed immensely. What do you expect her to do today when you let her go? Probably take off and, and uh, not go too far, and she'll revert very quickly back to independence, and uh, she'll probably see the ground squirrels popping up out of the grass around us here. And, and the idea with letting her go here is that if she does want to stay, she can because there's a food supply here. So if she wanted to beeline mm -hmm. for the Arctic because she wants to get back on territory and breed, she could do that. Um, she probably physically can't do that. She probably needs a little bit of time locally just sort of uh pushing her musculature up further but yeah she could stay if she wanted to she could be here for a week or two if she needs to but yeah tonight she'll probably find a nice roost as the sun gets gets low and stay out of trouble generally